I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at using the Nest Learning Thermostat without Wi-Fi. So you might need to do this if your Wi-Fi goes down or if you're in a space that doesn't have Wi-Fi, like a remote house or a cabin. And the good news is that the Nest Learning Thermostat can still operate even if you don't have Wi-Fi, so I don't right now. You can go in here, you can go into settings, and you can see it says internet disconnected. Um, but it's still able to operate, so I've got my current temperature setting. I can still switch modes. So I want it to be a little bit warmer in here. I can switch to heat, and you can see it's still going to operate. Um, what it cannot do is it cannot be activated remotely. Obviously, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't use the app to control it, and you can't operate it from a remote location. And um, also, it will need to update itself periodically and to update your schedule. So you can still go in and make edits to the schedule manually if you want to do that in here. But um, obviously, you can't use it in the app if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection. And it will need to update itself periodically. So you do want to ideally be able to connect it to Wi-Fi to do that. However, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, um, again, it's still functional and it's a a really nice uh, thermostat. The other thing that you won't get um, is that uh, you won't necessarily get uh, any of the outdoor temperature kind of reading. So normally you get an outdoor temperature because it's connected to the internet. Um, you're not going to get that if you don't have the Wi-Fi, but you can still again do the basic functions. If you found this helpful in any way, thanks for watching.